Welcome to the body imaging cases. This is a male 80 years old with loss of weight, constipation, dysphagia, anxiety, and depression. These are two volume rendered images of two CT examinations done for the patient eight months apart, showing how severe the weight loss is. And these are the corresponding CT sections. It is clear how the subcutaneous fat has been completely lost between the two examinations and the abdomen has become scaphoid. The patient has lost 25 kilograms in these eight months. On careful history taking, two important features were revealed. The dysphagia and constipation were intermittent. And second, they occur together, which means that the constipation was not due to obstruction, but due to poor food intake. The patient has been admitted for investigation of malignant neoplasm, considering that this is the commonest cause of weight loss in the elderly patients. During the hospital stay, the intermittent nature of the symptoms was objectively verified. The patient started to eat and pass stools normally during the hospital stay. This is clearly in contrast with the symptoms before the hospital stay as the patient spent complete seven days before the hospital stay without defecation. Although the patient temporarily improved, the investigations in search of malignancy were performed as planned. Upper endoscopy was done and it showed a hiatus hernia and reflux esophagitis. Colonoscopy was done and it revealed diverticular disease of the sigmoid colon. No malignancy was encountered. None of the observations made on endoscopy would be enough to explain the significant weight loss. CT of the abdomen and pelvis has also been performed. It has been normal except for diverticular disease of the sigmoid colon and some subtle findings at the gastroesophageal junction. We see here a thick wall of the lower part of the esophagus with no significant enhancement, suggestive of esophagitis rather than neoplasm. Here we see enhancing gastric mucosa at the hiatus hernia. And here there is indentation of the posterior aspect of the stomach at the level of the hiatus by a rather hypertrophied left diaphragmatic crust. We can trace it down to merge with the left diaphragmatic crust. On reviewing the CT, performed eight months before, the left diaphragmatic crust was larger and its indentation of the stomach was more significant and its enhancement has been less. All these features suggest that it has been thrown into a spasm and has relatively relaxed at the recent examination. The fact that the patient has been eating well at the time of the second CT suggests that the muscle spasm at the hiatus is the cause of the dysphagia. Probably contracted muscles show less enhancement than relaxed muscles because of the high interstitial pressure during the contraction, which hinders the entry of the contrast agent there. Let us see the details of the initial CT. This is again dilatation and wall thickening of the lower part of the esophagus with less enhancement than the stomach, suggestive of reflux esophagitis. And this is the enhancing mucosa of the stomach at the hiatus hernia. 
And here we see the top of the hiatus formed by the left and right crura of the diaphragm. The left cross is pointed to by the yellow arrow and the right cross by the red arrow. They are quite pinching the herniated part of the stomach at the hiatus. This is the hypertrophic spastic left diaphragmatic cross. Similarly, we can trace it down to match with the cross itself. So the diagnosis in this case is hypertrophy and spasm of the left diaphragmatic cross causing dysphagia, constipation, and significant weight loss in a patient with hiatus hernia. The learning points are Though malignant neoplasms are the leading cause of weight loss in the elderly patients, attention should also be given to non-neoplastic causes. Though less common than heartburn, dysphagia may occur in patients with hiatus hernia. One of the causes of that is the hypertrophy and spasm of the left crust of the diaphragm. It is better identified on CT than on the routine endoscopy.